Hello, Marjorie. You're late. Yeah, a little. Uh, what's the matter? You got it at <laughs> Yes, will you take care of it, Tony? What is it, a nail? No, it's a bullet the hole. Say, somebody's been a shooting at you. You've had trouble. Yes, summons men again. Oh, were any of the school children hurt? No, fortunately, it was after I'd taken them to school. I'll give you a hand, Tony. Uh, Say, where will I find Mr. Barnes? Here. What can I do for you? Why, I'm from the Hammond Bus Company. Say, this is a sweet running bus we bought from your firm. <laughs> I hope it's better than that check you gave us. What do you mean? That check is as good as gold. It was given me by Mr. Warren of the Warren Automobile Company. Yeah, I know all that, but he stopped payment on it. There must be some mistake. Will you wait here while I phone? Sure, go ahead. Help yourself. Does this tire belong to the bus? Sure, she belongs to the bus. She got a bunch, I'm gonna fix them up. Okay, but hurry up. I gotta take it out of here. Gonna take a what out? The bus? Sure, the check's no good. Say, what do you think? I thought I'm gonna fix him up for you to take him out of here. You take the bus, don't I don't fix the bunch. <laughs> Testa de porco. What's the matter? Hello? Warren Motor Company. Mr. Warren, please. It's very important. Tell him that Barnes of Temple and Barnes is calling. Hello? Yes, yes, put him on. It's Barnes. Get a load of this, Drummond. Hello? Oh, hello, Barnes. I was just going to call you up. Yes. Yes, I know, and I'm very sorry about the whole thing. But you see, the Racing Association compelled me to stop payment on the check. But why? I won the big race, didn't I? That's right. But Drummond filed a protest against you, and the matter hasn't been settled yet. Then why did you pay me the $5,000 in the first place? Because I believed you were entitled to it. But the Racing Association claimed that I hadn't the right to do so. He says the Hammond Company is going to take their bus away, and he and Miss Temple will be forced out of business. Now, isn't that too bad? I can't tell you, Barnes, how sorry I am. But you see the position I'm in. I had either to pay you the $5,000 out of my own pocket or stop payment on the check. I understand. Well, thanks anyway for trying to help me. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do but let them take the bus. And the joke of it all is Barnes thinks you're his friend. <laughs> now Miss Temple will jump at the chance to sell us her land. Yeah, and make us a present of millions of dollars worth of oil. Well, that's about all that's left of the Temple and Barnes Transportation Company. But we still have our school contract. We won't have that much longer without a bus. I tell you what, I got a great idea. What is it, Tony? Tell us. We get it a new bus. That certainly is a great idea, Tony. But hmm. Hmm. excuse me, please. I don't think about that. There's that land of mine. Perhaps Mr. Drummond would still be interested in buying it. Ah! Help! Help! Get out of there, you! Cut! Hey, what's the idea of spoiling my scene? Get that camera up here quick, Eddie. Bring up that camera. That's a real fight. Just what we want. Don't stop it. Oh, I got you. Come back, ladies, please. Come on. Get as soon as you're ready, Tom. That's good stuff. Boy, 
say what a fighter. Shut! Bring the camera closer. Gosh, I'm sorry. Oh, how are you, Burnham Up? Hello, Eddie. I didn't know you were making pictures around here. Mr. Lambert, this is Burnham Up Barn. How do you do? How would you like to make $100 quick? <laughs> uh, what is this, a joke? It's no joke to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. I got some swell scenes of that fight, but I have to have more of you to use it in the picture. It won't take long. What do you say? OK. Fine. Tom, put the camera back in that alley setup. Yes, sir. Okay. First, I have to have a scene where Barnes sees the attack on the girl and rushes out to save her. Yes, sir. Come on, burn him up. Oh, hello, Miss Temple. What's going on there? Looks like Mr. Barnes is trying to break into pictures. Clark Gable had better watch out. <laughs> uh, Miss Temple, I, I'd like to have a little talk with you. Won't you come in? You probably know that I tried to do Barnes a good turn. Yes, I know about the check. I feel very badly about the whole thing. I'd like to help. Perhaps I could make you a loan. But I have nothing to offer as security. The only thing I have is a few acres of land, and that's heavily mortgaged. I'm not thinking about security. But if you want to sell the land, perhaps I could take it off your hands. Now you understand clearly what you're supposed to do, Barnes. Yes. I chase the car ahead. At a signal from you, I leave the wheel, stand up in the front seat, and jump across to the other car. That's right. But be sure you don't jump till you get my signal. <laughs> yes, sir. No, thanks. Was it all right? All right, it was great. Here's your hundred bucks. Thanks. Barnes, come here a minute, will you? Yes. You're a crackerjack stunt man. How would you like a steady job with us? Uh, thanks. But I'm in the transportation business. But this is real dough. A good stunt man's worth 500 bucks a week. 500 a week? Eddie's not kidding you. This is a real thrill picture. Aeroplane stuff, runaway trains, a big auto race. And that's his long suit, Chief. Burn him up's the king of the dirt track. I know. I saw him win his last race. How about it, Barnes? Well, uh, I'm not as good as Eddie says, but I'd sure like to try it. You're on. Let's get back to the garage, Eddie. All right, then, Miss Temple. $5,000 is the agreed price. Now, if I may use your pen and ink, I'll fill out the bill of sale. Thank you. Oh, by the way, have you the deed to the property? Yes, I'll get it for you right away. Eat them all! Now, Miss Temple, if you'll just sign right here. I really hate to dispose of my land, Mr. Warren, but I don't see any other way out. Just a minute, Marjorie. I wouldn't sign that if I were you. But burn him up. Mr. Warren is going to pay me $5,000 for it. Tell me, 
Why are you so anxious to obtain this land, Mr. Warren? Why, because I need it in my business. I suppose Mr. Drummond needs it in his business, too. He stopped at nothing to force us to sell. You're not implying that I have anything to do with Drummond, are you? All these generous offers for Miss Temple's land leads me to believe it has some hidden value. Hidden value? What could it be? I don't know yet, but I'm going to find out. If you're as good a friend as you claim to be, Mr. Warren, you won't mind giving us time to think it over. Why, of course not. There's no rush. But burn them up. We need cash right away. Here's a hundred dollars, and we get five hundred more every week from now on. I was just hired by that motion picture company to do stunts. Oh, but I hate to think of you risking your life. <laughs> then don't think about it. Oh, by the way, where's Tony? I told him he could have the afternoon off. Santa Maria, que se... Mi cappello. I don't think I'd go out. Yes? This is Drummond. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> That's a laugh. Barnes is gone in the movies. <laughs> well. Camera! There's nothing to what he's going to do in a minute.
my name. 